Hi, welcome to a quick review of the LOS Block Modular Building. So this is one of the new items in their range. Works really well with their existing range, so it, it, will, it will fit in quite nicely. However, in this case, it's designed to be a lot more modular than some of the other buildings, so there's a lot of parts that you can move in and out. So firstly, um, I've purchased a, a, quite, a, quite a lot of LOS Blocks, so you see quite a few of these reviews over the coming, uh, the coming weeks. I'm quite impressed by the quality of it. Uh, we didn't receive any discount on it, uh, we just used the normal discount code that popped up every so often. They did provide a little bit of price support for the INA Open, but this is generally an honest review without any um, sponsorship or, or equivalent. So, the way this, this kit comes when you buy it basically is you buy the initial part here first, which comes with a series of um, modular slots around the edge. You can then also add on a roof which is just a few euros on top of the sort of eight euros approximately price for the actual module. And you can also buy spare pieces of the modules, which I'd recommend as well. So what I'd recommend for the roofs is maybe buy um, two roofs for every three buildings that you buy. And that way it gives you a bit of flexibility for what you do with the roofs. Similarly, if you buy some extra module kits, if something ever breaks or if you want to paint them different colours, uh, you've got the spare sliding in and out modules. So the building is, the MDF that they use, um, or HDF as they call it effectively, is, is very similar to the stuff that MASH use. So if you used MASH before, uh, the Micro Studio stuff, this, this material seems to be very similar. The quality of the cuts on the frame is really good. I didn't have any problems with anything breaking when I was taking it off the frame. And apart from the very smallest parts, I was able to push them all out with my fingers. Even the smallest parts I didn't have to cut out using a, a craft knife. I just pushed them out gently with... Um, either a pair of tweezers or the ends of a pair of clippers and they punched out quite nicely cleanly so what we've got here is this module so effectively you take the roof off and then you end up with a nice sort of modular shape so lots of detail cut onto the actual MDF itself but the main part is these little slide in and out modules so as you can see there's three different types there's a solid wall type here there is a window type here and then there's a door type here as I mentioned, you can buy extra packs of these, so if you want to be able to swap stuff around, I'd, I'd recommend picking up a few extra packs because they're not expensive at all. So this modularity allows you to choose the combination you want to do. So even if you wanted to set a um, table and you wanted to glue these in, it still gives you a lot of combinations when you actually come to build it. Or you can leave it fully modular and just move it in and out as required. Now you'll notice there's these little um, sort of tab pieces on top where there's a little hook in and that gives you the uh, capability to match them with other parts of the um, LOS block range. So this is the stairway piece which sells separately and you notice the stairway piece there's um, little tabs here along the bottom that align with the tabs here. So if I take one of these pieces here and just tab it in all of a sudden I've got a stairway that allows me access to effectively to the roof piece if I put the roof on. Now if I take the roof off these module buildings of course can be stacked so all of a sudden I've now got another module on top and talking about price point again these tend to be around about eight to ten euros each a mass building a three-story version of the district nine apartments is again about 30 euros at retail so the, the price range compared to mass is actually uh, very equivalent um, but I think you get a lot more modularity out of this stuff now I do have a lot of micro studio stuff to review as well so there will be some videos on that but again I like the micro studio range but let's let's just make up a little um, sort of scenario or a little um, combination here so if we put another um, set of stairways on here you can see that the stairways again clip into the little sort of slots which are created for them and again, if I then put on the, the roof, we've now got this double set of stairs leading up towards the, um, the, the top of the building. So let's just turn this around a little bit. So it's like this. Now, imagine I've got another building here. So I have another one of these. So again, I'm just going to put another um, set of stairwell on here. Now the next piece isn't glued because I've still to paint this one um, and I want to paint the side pieces separately. But again, you've then got these walkways which again are sold separately. But again, they're only a few euros each. And effectively they slot into the same mechanic as before. So as I mentioned, this isn't glued so it's a little bit fiddly. But obviously once it's fully assembled, it'll, it'll work a lot better. And then there you go. 
So as you can see, we've got a really nice building. It's got a combination here. We can just put the roof onto this one here. Um, and something like this is probably going to cost you about somewhere between 40 and 50 euros if you work out the exact price, depending on what sales on at the time. And I think you can really come up with a lot of nice combinations for these buildings. Um, what I'll do um, in future videos is I will show you these these buildings alongside some of the older LOS block, LOS block range, such as the L-shaped sort of um, buildings and the the office apartment blocks. Some of the more of the things like the um, the barricades, etc. So you notice the, there's gaps here where the the stairwells finish. You can actually get bar uh, barricades that come with it that go into these spaces here. So again, very very impressed with the quality of LOS block. I've probably got about a quarter to a third of a board of the actually trained to assemble now, but I'm planning to do a whole board using the LOS block stuff. So what I'll do is I'll keep you guys updated with the progress. I'll put up videos of the raw kits and then I'll start to put up videos of some of the combinations and the painted kits as well. So hopefully you found this really quick video useful. If you did, either comment in the YouTube comments below or in the Facebook uh, comments where I've linked the video. As I mentioned, I've got a whole range of other um, kits from Antinosity's Workshop, Micro Studio, Warsenal, LOS Block, and the idea is to try and insert lots of these little videos now into the channel on Facebook so that people can see some of the different kits that are out there. There's a lot of um, exciting different companies which are doing uh, MDF kits for Infinity in particular. So once again, thanks very much for watching this video.